iServe is a handheld ordering device um, used by servers to take orders at the table. The idea of it is to speed up the service cycle um, and free up service time so they spend more time with the guest um, than running back and forth to tills. To get into the iServe you will need your four digit pin number that you will be given on a go live day. Okay, so I'm just going to go through the iServe quickly with you. So on the iServe you have three screens. Very first screen is your menu. So as you can see it's all your drinks here and at the top there you've got a food category. From the right to the left you've then got the menu again. Again food and then drink. Right to the left again and this is where you will start a brand new table and your order will go into it and then you'll be able to process your order by sending it. So let's start a brand new table. So configure, assign table number. Anything with a green box next to it just means table's already open. So let's go into a table here. How many people are on that table? And set the count. I'm now in table 19, which I'm going to do a bit of ordering for now. So let's add on a bit of drink. Every time you serve alcohol on the first transaction, it will always ask you if the customer is over 18. And then you'll pick the size that you want. If I then wanted a lager top here, I'd then hold down the lager again, and it will get, then give me the choice of how I want it. So if I hit top there, as you can see, it's been adding into the basket. So if I go into my basket, you'll then see the two items I've now added in. If I don't want one of these items, I can clear it by sliding and hitting delete. And then you can carry on with your order. Once you put your drinks on and you're ready to send the order, you've just got a send button there and you send it. When you send it, it will come up with, the, with it being saved. This just means it's been sent. So as it's a drinks, it will be sent to your bar. You then get categories here that says create a new account, pick up an account and continue with the account. Create a new account is a brand new table that's sat down and you're just going to give it a table number because it's a brand new table. Pick up an account is a table that's already open so we already gave it a table number. We're just going to add some food to it, some more drink, a dessert, print the bill and possibly cash it off. Continue is I'm going to continue with the table that I now have in my backdrop of my iServe. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to create a brand new table. So remember, top right hand corner, configure and assign a table number. So we're just going to do a bit of ordering. So we're going to do some more drinks here. And then I'm going to add on a wine. Okay, and then we're going to well, add some food onto it. So remember food is at the top here. And remember you can use middle screen or your very first screen here, which one you like the best. So we're going to pick some food and we're going to pick a rump steak. So on your rump steak you'll have the choices how you want it cooked and then as you can see you can move over and add anything else to it. So let's pick the way we want it cooked and then a chip choice. And if you don't want a sauce or any upsells, you don't need to select anything, you'll just then just need to press add. And then we'll add a fish pie on there as well. If I decided that I wanted no ice in my cocktail here, if I hit on it, I can add a message to it. And we're just going to hit no ice. The reason why I've added a message to it instead of a drink mod is because it's not my last item in my order pad. However, now if I order a drink again, So I've now ordered a Pepsi. I'm now able to do a drink mod to it. So without ice. And you can do exactly the same with your food, so food as well. Also as well on your um, meals, if you want to change the way um, a meal comes, the way it's cooked, you can just hit on it and edit a choice. This will bring you back to your very original screen. So if I don't want the medium rare, I can click on it and then just click on the one that I want. And then again, I can just add it. Once all your order is ready to go, if you just send it, 
then again it brings up the screen that you have sent the order and then it goes through again what you would like to do so remember create a new account is a brand new table pick up an account is a table that's already open continue is I'm just going to continue on table that I'm on at the moment so what we're going to do is we're going to go back to a table that's already open so I'm going to hit pick up the account as you can see my accounts these are my tables that I've got browse will be every table that is open in your business at a time so I'm just going to go into my account and I'm going to pick up a table so at this point I can keep on adding to it so if I wanted to add another drink to it I can do and then I'd send the order okay so we're going to go back to another table And we're now going to print this bill. So if I hit print bill here, and then you would select the printer that you want it to print from. If they're not ready to pay you, you'd need to get rid of the table. So the way you get rid of this table is you just send it and it automatically just lays it away. It then brings you up with the screen here. So it's almost a bit of repetition here. Now, if you don't um, want to do anything at a time, you can just pop it on lock from the top here. And then when you come back to your iServe, it's just a prompting screen of what you are going to do next. So at the moment, we're just going to go pick up the account. So I'm just walking past someone else's table and they've asked me to add an order to their bill. So I'm just going to go into the browse here because remember it's not my table and then I'll go into their table and then carry on the order like so. However, the table that I own have now asked me for the, they've had the bill and we're just going to pay it off now. So if I go into my table and they're now ready to give me some money. So if I hit the cash put in here and as you can see it's 13.99 let's say they gave me £15 that table is now closed off and it will then give me how much I owe them in change I'm now ready to carry on with my tables if I need to at which point I'd then pick up the account or create an account if necessary so I'm just going to show you how you would get into a table if you had a screen here that was empty you'd automatically go back to your very first screen and hit pick up the account and then carry on as you would do so and you go into your tables once you're finished with the iServe if you want to hand it back to your manager at a time and hand it over to another team member all you'll need to do is just hit your name and sign yourself out Hi, I'm Christy and I'm Flo and we're from Port Sand and Harvester. Um, we've just been doing our training with the iServe. We think that they're absolutely brilliant. We've been showing how to troubleshoot with them. We think it's great that all the technology talks to each other. We've just got this one machine and it does absolutely everything for us, giving us more time with guests. To be guest obsessed.